Warning: Benzene nitrile is irritant and odorous. Palladium salts and triphenyl phosphine are toxic. Please don't forget to use gloves and work on the fume hood. Thanks. Hello, my dear chemists. Please, sorry for no video so long. PhD, job, and other annoying things. Anyway, thanks for your patience. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the second important palladium source catalyst in organic chemistry, base triphenyl phosphine palladium chloride. This one is pretty easy to make, and despite its need to be loaded more for Suzuki coupling reactions, this guy is stable enough at air and moist conditions. So, base uses pretty well in industrial chemistry. Also, it's pretty common catalyst for unsymmetrical Sonogashira reaction. Ok, let's get started. First, put 1 gram of palladium dichloride in round bottom flask with a store bar. Then put 3.25 grams of triphenyl phosphine and pour 30 ml of benzonitrile to it. Acetonitrile could be used for sure, but it results in lesser yield. Further, reaction mixture should be aerated with argon during 20 minutes, because complexation process is pretty sensitive to oxygen, may result in palladium black. After time is gone, I have sealed flask with double circuit condenser equipped with argon filter balloon. Please, watch carefully for technique. Step 1. Purge a condenser by emptying a balloon on a half. Step 2. Gently remove the first balloon and poke a new one instead. When its size will be around 7 inch. Oh yeah, on step 1 gas is being released into free space, but on the second step into flask, be careful. Nice. Now just cover joints, wire power film and put whole construction into oil bath. Reaction mixture should be refluxed until 180 degrees C, controlling temperature. When you score the right temperature, continue to heat everything during 20 minutes. Reaction mixture becomes dark red because of two-stage process. First, bis-cyan and palladium dichloride forming in solution. Next, ligand exchanging with triphenyl phosphine leads to final product, bis triphenyl phosphine palladium salt. After reaction completion, just uncover the flask and let it cool down to room temperature. As you can see, bis precipitate is coming out. It's nice shiny powder. Now let our reaction mixture to stir overnight. On the next day, I have just removed the condenser and filter off whole precipitate on a glass filter. Hey, do not throw away a benzonite trial, it can be distilled and used again in the same synthesis. Then remove a stir bar and wash bis triphenyl phosphine palladium dichloride with diethyl ether three times, 30 ml portion each. At last, as the final product was transferred into waiting bottle and dried under vacuum. Congrats! We have successfully made a 3.45 grams of pure bis triphenyl phosphine palladium chloride, which corresponds to 87% yield. To sum up, today I have shown you how to make a very useful palladium catalyst in a pretty convenient way and gave some useful tips there. 
So, if the video was helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, crack the bell and leave your opinion in the comment section. Bye!